Hi guys, Cy from Cyanai Software. Today I'm going to go over Alumi and some of the big changes that we've made to this. Uh, so if you have used Alumi before, um, you might want to watch this to sort of see what changes we've added. If this is the first time you're actually watching this, um, initially to set up Alumi and to set up where your library is pointed, you're going to need to go into our Ignite and go to the Config panel and this is where you enter in the path to your HDRI library. Now, um, changes that we've made is we've made it so you can actually make your own previews in here as well. So we have a make preview button and that'll make a preview of your HDRI. But let's actually just go in here and I'm just gonna delete all the preview files and I'm gonna delete all the text files out of here. And what we'll do is now that you've gone into here, um, you can actually do a bulk process. Now, I've sped this video up, um, and it takes about a minute in HDRI to go through and make all these previews for it. So it might be something that you run at the end of the night before you go home. Uh, but what that does is it essentially makes you a JPEG image for each one of your H HDRIs and a text image, which... Uh, holds information about your HDRI. You can alter sort of location and time or whatnot. So once you have all that made, uh, and now you have previews for your HDRIs, you can start bringing them in. So let's grab the first one here, and I'm going to say import this in. And what that's going to do is it's going to build me an HDRI rig. It's going to analyze the HDRI image and find out where the sun is in this and set you up a rig for that. Uh, there's a lot of settings down here, so you don't have to use the sun. You can just use the environment. Uh, if you do use the sun, um, you can actually change its exposure or sharpness, this, and that essentially is just changing the size of the sun for shadows. Uh, you have image exposure, f-stops in the camera, and rotation of the HDRI itself. Now, um, you can also type all this stuff in as well. So 90 degrees sets it at 90, zero sets it at zero, um, but the sliders are also there. Uh, you can select your physical camera, so you can actually pick the camera that you're using, um, and you can go in and load multiple HDRIs in here. So we had a scene with nothing in it. Let's just do a quick render and see what our HDRI wizard has come up with us. So what it did was it analyzed that HDRI. It tried to figure out um, what the height of the sun was and bound that to the rig and then adjusted the, your camera settings. So it gives you a suggested camera with these settings in here. So it gets pretty close to that. Um, you can go in then from there, select your rig and tweak those settings like I showed you earlier down here. So if you just want a little brighter, a little darker, you can do that. Now, this rig will hold multiple HDRIs as well. So if I was to go in here and open Lumi back up, and let's just pick something else, maybe something a little darker. Yeah, there we go. We'll bring in this one. What it's gonna do is brings that into the same rig. So if I was to do a render again here, let me just do a render of that rig. Uh, it's taking the settings from that HDRI and will give you that fresh render and now it's matched to the lighting to that HDRI. So this gives you the ability of multiple rigs in here. So to um, you can just by a single click you're viewing them. Uh, by double click you're gonna actually see the rig itself change. So it switches the rig for that HDRI. So if I wanted to select say this HDRI and I want to rotate this around to this direction. Actually, we put it sort of behind me. And then I go back to the other rig. It remembers the direction of lighting for that. So you have essentially a multi-rig HDRI lighting system from this. Very easy to use, very simple. Um, there's not a lot to go over, but we did add the ability of multiple lighting, uh, thumbnails, the ability to batch HDRIs, um, and we always look for suggestions. So if you have suggestions for this, um, let us know. Uh, I do want to go over one frequently asked question, 
and they people want to animate their rigs. Um, you can do that. Uh, so if I go in here and I set this to say rotation, and I'm just going to rotate my rig around here. Now my rig will be animated, but you have to remember that this is not. It is not animating your rig from going from dark to all the way through the day and then back down again. All this is doing is rotating your rig. Now you can get the illusion of, of time passing by in how HDR lighting works that it'll get darker and then brighter and then dark again. So it gives you that illusion of animated lighting, but essentially you have to remember that how HDRIs work is your lighting from a certain time of day in that HDRI. So just by rotating your rig around doesn't actually give you a proper animated from light to dark. Um, your rig can't, your HDRIs just don't work that way. That's not the way they work. Uh, I, if you're gonna do something like that, then get yourself a set of animated HDRIs like say, you know, a, 50 HDRIs and then for each time animate your own rig. That's what that <laughs> would do. But our system, it's not going to do that. It's not loading in an HDRI for every minute and going up. You're just actually rotating this rig around. Now, like I said, um, if I do a, let's just do a render of this and we're, so it looks like it's morning. Everything looks good. If I go back and now let's go bring this HDRI this way and I render it out, you're going to see that now it looks like it's sort of in the evening. So you get that sort of illusion of um, animated daytime, but that's truly not how HDR lighting works. So um, we get that question a lot. I thought I would cover it. Now the last thing that I want to go over is resources. PG Skies are from Peter Guthrie, and there is an amazing collection here. Um, tons of HDRI is probably the absolute best on the market. Um, amazing stuff. So check out his stuff. If you need an HDR library, that's definitely where you want to go. Uh, another is HDRI Haven, and there's uh, lots of 16K HDRIs here. Um, tons of stuff to go through. Um, all he looks for is some donations to get new camera gear. And third is HDRI Skies. This was her old development partner. Uh, she has a lot of HDRIs here that you can purchase and go through. So lots of stuff. Um, so that's about it for um, our updates and changes in Illumi. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. See you.